we've got this frequency list and we want to compute one variable stat. So maybe we want a weighted mean, uh, maybe that means that we want a standard deviation, either the population standard deviation or the sample standard deviation. In this example, we've got some age classes. I went ahead and computed each of these midpoints because we need a representative value and the frequencies. These are what is going to go into my calculator. Um, just to get you off on the right foot here, the frequencies, um, I'm sorry, the midpoints are calculated by taking um, the minimum plus the maximum for each of those classes and then we divide that by 2. So this is going to give me that 24.5. So each of these midpoints then becomes the value that we're going to type into the calculator. I'm going to type my midpoints into L1. You can choose whatever list you want and then my frequencies into L2. So as I look at this frequency distribution, I have an age group of uh, people in their 20s. I'm going to represent people in their 20s with a midpoint of 24.5, and I've got three of those. I've got four people in their 30s represented by 34.5, and so on. Okay, so let's move over to the calculator. So I'm going to go and enter these. So I go to my stat menu, and I want to enter data, so I go to edit. So I just hit enter, or number one. And I went ahead and put my data in here already. So I just went ahead and entered my midpoints into L1 and my frequencies into L2. You can put these into any list you want, just remember the list names. I'm going to go back to my home screen, so second and then quit. Um, to the statistic menu, so I go to stat and then calc. I choose one variable stats. In my calculator, it gives me this, um, this menu. If yours doesn't, hang on for just a minute, and I'm going to show you how to enter these in. If you just get one variable stats that shows up on your screen and nothing else. If your calculator looks like this, I choose where I put my midpoints as L1. If you didn't put yours into L1, you'd hit the second button, followed by whatever numbered list you chose, L2, L3, and so on. Mine was L1 and then I enter down. This might be blank right here. So if yours is blank or if it says a different list, you want to go ahead and select the list where you put your frequencies. So mine was an L2, so second L2. And then I go ahead and hit calculate. What I've got now are one variable stats for the midpoints using the frequencies. So this used three 24.5s, four 34.5s, and so on. Um, this X bar is my weighted mean of 35.5. I also have my standard deviation for the data and my sample standard deviation. If I arrow down, that will give me the rest. Okay, so that's how to compute one variable stats if your calculator looks like mine did. If you've got something different when you do one variable stats, I'm going to go ahead and just grab that last entry and I'm going to back up and show you that yours probably looks almost like this but without the L1 and the L2. So let me delete these. So if you went and did stat and then calc and you chose one variable stats and your calculator just looks like this with a blinking cursor after one variable stats, you are going to choose the list with your midpoints first. So I'm going to go second L1, that's where my midpoints were. Then the comma, which is right above number seven. And then I want the lists with my frequencies. So second L2. Without a frequency, I would just do L1, but this time I want to tell it that I've got midpoints, comma, and I'm using frequencies. Then I go ahead and hit enter, and it gives me exactly the same values that it gave me before.